Hey guys, this is Howard Ubertech. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how to field strip your SIG P320 AXG Pro. Before we get started, I'd like to ask everybody to please subscribe and also tell a friend about the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get on with the video. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to make sure that we're safe. And how we do that is by hitting this button right here. This is your mag release. You're gonna hit that and the magazine comes out. Set that aside. Now, just because the magazine is out doesn't mean we're safe yet. What we have to do is we have to make sure that there's no ammo inside the chamber. And how we check is by holding the pistol like this, grabbing the slide from here or here, and pulling the slide this way while pushing this way with this hand. And as you can see, there is no ammo in the chamber. So now we are safe. Next, we're gonna lock the slide to the rear. And how we do that is by holding up on the slide lock grabbing the slide from here and pulling it this way. Next, we take the takedown lever, this thing right here, and we push that down to the six or seven o'clock, whatever that position that is. And then what we do is we pull the slide to the rear. Once you pull the slide to the rear, you're gonna notice that this slide lock should release. The one thing I've noticed about this pistol is sometimes it looks like this has released the slide, but it has it, and if that happens to you, what you need to do is you'll pull the slide to the rear and then use your thumb to pull down the slide lock. So let's see if that happens right now. So we're gonna pull the slide to the rear. It looked like it dropped, but notice it still catches the slide. So we're gonna pull the slide again to the rear, pull down our thumb, and then follow the slide forward, just like that. We can set this piece down for now. Next, what we're gonna do is remove the recoil spring. And how we do that is by grabbing the recoil spring from here and you're gonna push up and then out on an angle. Before I remove the recoil spring, keep in mind it's under spring tension. So when you grab a hold of it, you wanna make sure you get a good hold so it doesn't come flying out. Now we're gonna remove the barrel. Grab the barrel from here, pull up and out on an angle again. So congratulations, you have field strip your P320 AXG Pro. This is pretty much as far as you need to go if you're just trying to do a basic field strip. If you wanna go one step further, you can remove the FCU, which is this silver part in here. This part could be removed, so this way you can clean inside of the grip and also wipe down the FCU. If you wanna go that far, follow these next steps. If not, fast forward to the point where we're putting everything back together. So in order to remove the FCU, we need to remove the takedown lever. How I like to do it is this little circle is part of the takedown lever. And so you could either push with your finger on this circle and you're gonna push this way. And then you're gonna take this portion of the takedown lever and you're gonna turn back and forth, okay? And that will loosen it up so this way you could take out the takedown lever. Side note, each pistol is different. So some of these takedown levers are a lot harder to remove. If that is the case, you could take a punch and you could push that against the pin and help push it out. This one hasn't been that bad, so I'm just gonna use my finger. So I'm pushing in, grabbing it and turning it. See, it came out pretty easy and there you go. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab these two rails right here, and you're gonna pull upward. Again, each pistol is different. If your pistol is very tight and you cannot pull on this by hand and remove it, you can take something like this and get underneath the rail and kind of pry it up. What I would do is I would use something like this. This is just a piece of wood, so this way it doesn't mar your grip module. Again, this P320 has not been that uh, tough, so I'm just gonna grab it from here, pull up like I said, now that you're on that angle, you're gonna pull the FCU this way, and then it just comes right on out just like that. Congratulations, you have removed the FCU for your P320 AXG Pro. Now let's put everything back together. The first thing we're gonna to do to put everything back is we're gonna grab our grip module and our FCU. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this portion of the trigger and we're gonna insert it into this hole right here. And so it's gonna look something like this. So there goes the trigger, it's inside. You can see underneath the trigger starting to stick out. Once you're at this point, the next goal is to get this portion of the FCU underneath this portion of the grip module. So what we wanna do is we wanna slightly push forward so this way we can get some clearance for this part. And then when we push forward slightly, we're gonna push down on the back. 
So we're pushing forward, we're pushing down. Now, I'm not gonna push all the way down, I'm gonna stop here. This pin right here, you see, is touching the grip module. So as we're pushing downward on the back, we're gonna start to push the FCU back this way while pushing down on the rear of the FCU. So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna to continue to push down like we were. You notice that the pin is now falling into place so it can actually clear the grip module. And then we're gonna start pushing down on the front of the FCU. And then we're almost done. The last thing you wanna do after you've gotten to this point is push on the FCU to the rear of the pistol and you see how it just moved ever so slightly? That's because this portion of the FCU slid underneath this part of the grip module. So now we installed the FCU, we can install the takedown lever. So in order to install your takedown lever, this portion right here has a circle piece and a area where it is like sort of like shaved off. This portion gets inserted first you're going to line up this shaved off part with this portion right here, which is the silver slanted piece. And it's gonna look like this. So you're gonna notice, see how that shaved off part of the takedown lever matches up perfectly with that slanted part? Once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to push the takedown lever towards the pistol while rotating it back and forth. So it's gonna look something like this. So I'm pushing forward, and I'm turning it, and I'm turning it like kind of back and forth. And you can see how it's getting further into the grip module, and now you're halfway installed. Once you get to this part right here where the takedown lever is halfway installed, you want to take this part right here, and you want to insert it to this hole right here. I find the easiest way to do that is by taking this portion of the takedown lever and putting it at the nine o'clock position. I notice when you do that, this part pretty much just falls right into this hole. I'll show you. So we're just gonna take this, put it at the nine o'clock position. All right, it's at the nine o'clock position. Now we're just gonna straighten it out. And then boom, you could see how this part right here just falls right into this hole. So we're almost done. So what we wanna do now is we wanna rotate the takedown lever until we're at the three o'clock position. And the reason why you wanna rotate it to the three o'clock position is because as soon as you're in that three o'clock position, this part right here that sticks out will automatically be lined up with this groove right here, right here. So you see that groove that kinda is like a half circle? It'll be lined up perfectly. So you get it at the three o'clock position, See how it's like right there, you'll hear like a sort of like a little click, and then you're gonna to wanna to push towards the pistol again. And then when you do that, you might have to wiggle it, this part just ever so slightly, and you heard that click because it fell right into place. And now it's lined up on this side, and we're good, we're installed. Next thing you wanna do is push this takedown lever all the way to the seven o'clock position. Once you've done that, then we have finished installing the FCU to your grip module. So now let's put everything else back together. Set this portion down for now, pick up your slide. We're gonna install the barrel first. This portion of the barrel right here will be inserted to this area right here. And it's gonna look like this. So the barrel will be inserted on an angle just like this. And then you push the barrel back. You can see that the barrel block drops into place right here. Next, we're gonna install the recoil spring. There's two sides here. There's the part with the paint on it and there's the part without the paint. Eventually this paint could wear off if you have this gun long enough where you won't have any paint at all anymore after cleaning and stuff like that. So how I like to look at it is there's the side that has that little slot right here and there's the side that doesn't. The side that doesn't gets inserted first, it gets inserted like this. So you're gonna take this portion of the recoil spring and you're gonna insert it right here into that circle. And it's gonna look like this, just like that. Now, once you get to this portion, you want to compress the spring this way while pushing down. 
this portion of the recoil spring right here will be inserted to this area of the barrel. It's going to look like this. Now we're going to press this way and down. Press and then down. And there you go. One thing to note is that when you finish installing your recoil spring, you want to make sure that the recoil spring is lined up and centered properly with the barrel. You don't want your spring to look like this and you don't want your spring to look like that because that'll give you an issue installing the slide. So we're gonna just make sure that it's centered just like this and that should be good. Next, we're gonna take this opening right here and this opening right here. We're gonna insert this rail and this rail into those openings and it's gonna look something like this. Follow the slide to the rear, pushing this way. Now, once you get to this part, one thing to note here, this, the rear of the slide is hung up on the two rails right here and here. So if this happens, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna push down and then continue to pull back. So down, and then there you go. Now, once you're at this part, what you're gonna do is you're gonna push up and hold up on the slide lock again, like we did in the beginning. Then grab the slide from here and pull to the rear. Now your slide is locked again. Take your takedown lever and swing that over to the three o'clock position. And now you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna grab the slide from here, pull it to the rear. And then again, if this doesn't release, pull down with your thumb. It released that time, so we're good. Next, I like to do a function test. And how I do that is by grabbing the pistol like this and then you're gonna push forward with this hand while grabbing the slide from here or here and pulling this way three times. It's gonna look something like this. Next, point the gun in a safe direction and pull the trigger. Everything is working fine, so we are done with the function test. The last thing I do is insert the magazine, and how you do that is take the flat side here and make sure that is facing the rear of the pistol like this, and insert it just like that. Push up till you hear that click and you're done. Congratulations, you have successfully disassembled and reassembled your SIG P320 AXG Pro. Guys, if you have any questions, please put it in the comments below. If you thought the video was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and tell a friend about the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.